Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Let's Do It with Casey. In today's lesson, I have brought you something really exciting and new. Have you ever wondered when somebody tickles us, we burst into laughter and if we tickle ourselves, we don't laugh at all. Like if I tickle myself, nothing happens, but if somebody comes and tickles me, then I might burst into laughter. So in today's lesson, we will learn about the scientific reason for why can we not tickle ourselves. So let's begin. First thing first, what is a tickle and how does it work? Tickle is a verb and it means to touch in a way that causes discomfort or itching and all from laughter. How does it work? As you all know, that our skin is a sense organ and underneath the skin there are many neurons and uh, on being touched the nerve endings get stimulated and they send a signal to the brain through sensory neurons which are nerve cells uh, which get activated by input from the environment and now let us learn about what happens when signal reaches the brain before understanding this, let us understand about brain. Brain has three basic units, hindbrain, midbrain and forebrain. Hindbrain includes the upper part of the spinal cord, the brainstem which is a central trunk of mammalian brain, medulla oblongata, pons, midbrain and it continues down to form spinal cord and cerebellum which is a wrinkled ball of tissue and it controls the movement and hindbrain all in all controls the body's vital function like respiration and heart rate. The utmost part of the brainstem is the midbrain which controls the voluntary actions. The forebrain is the largest and the most developed part of the human brain. It consists of cerebrum and structures beneath the cerebrum. Cerebrum is the topmost part and it is the source of intellectual activities and it holds your memory, allows you to plan and enables you to imagine and think and allows you to, you know, allows you to recognize your friends, read books and play games. Cerebrum is divided into left and right hemispheres through a longitudinal fissure and they are connected and they communicate with each other through corpus callosum which is a bundle of nerve fibers. So till now we have learned about the brain in brief. And now coming to the question, what happens when signal reaches the brain? There are two areas of brain which responds to the stimulus of touch. The first one is somatosensory cortex, which analyzes the touch and it is located on the upper part of the cerebrum. As you can see in the diagram, the second part is anterior cingulate cortex, which controls the feeling of pleasure and anterior means front. And this is located in the medial, medial wall of each cerebral hemisphere above and adjacent to the corpus callosum, which is a bundle of nerve fibers and both combined create the tickle response, which is laughter. And it travels through motor neurons, which transmits the impulse from the brain or spinal cord to the muscles. And in this case, the muscles of mouth, because we laugh, or we can say in general to all the muscles, because when somebody tickles us, we move in an irregular way. Until now, we have learned about uh, how does the tickle work. And now coming to the main point, which is, why does it not work for a self-tickle? Cerebellum, the reason is cerebellum. It spoils all the fun. Cerebellum controls movement. It, it can distinguish between the expected and unexpected movement. Basically, what happens is when we self-tickle, it expects the action and it alerts the rest of the brain and thereby muting the intensity of the sensation. The tickle response requires a level of surprise and tension that we just don't get from a self-tickle. Because when we self-tickle, our brain already know about it and it is not a fool that it will give response to this. And that is why we don't laugh when we self-tickle. 
Coming to the next, which is, there are many people who say, tickle me, I will not laugh, and sometimes they do not laugh. Well, don't be happy. It is not an achievement, okay? It is not an achievement, uh, but it indicates that you're not okay, maybe. It might indicate the deficiency of vitamin B12, calcium, or magnesium, because these all are required for the proper functioning of a nervous system. With that, I would love to end this lesson here. I hope that you enjoyed watching it, and I hope that you learned something new. If you have any suggestions, then please put them down in the comment box. I will surely consider them. Till then, take care, bye-bye, and meet you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.